Hello friends, welcome to the Prime Math Lovers YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve a radical equation from Chinese Math Olympiad. Square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x plus 2 is equal to square root of 3x plus 6 plus square root of 3x plus 1. Please try to solve it before watching the video and let me know what you think in the comment area. The first thing I do is I um, use the changing variable technique and uh, define four new variables. I let a is equal to x plus 7, b is equal to x plus 2, c is equal to 3x plus 6, and d is equal to 3x plus 1. So this is square root of a, square root of b, square root of c, and square root of d. So we have square root of a plus square root of b is equal to square root of c plus square root of d. In next step, I calculate a minus b. a is x plus 7 and b is x plus 2. So it will be x plus 7 minus x minus 2. And I can cancel, eliminate this uh, positive x with this negative x, and the result will be 5. So a minus b is equal to 5. Then I calculate c minus d. c minus d is c is 3x plus 6, and d is 3x plus 1. So I'll have 3x plus 6 minus 3x minus 1. Again, I can eliminate these two terms, uh, positive 3x and negative 3x, and 6 minus 1 is equal to 5, 2. So c minus d is 5, and a minus d is 5. Therefore, a minus b is equal to c minus d. I replace a with square root of a to the power of 2. I do the same thing with b, c, and d. So I have square root of a to the power of 2 minus square root of b to the power of 2 is equal to square root of c to the power of 2 minus square root of d to the power of 2. We have an algebra, we, we have an identity in algebra names uh, difference of squares, says a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. And these are, uh, we can apply this identity in both sides of the equation. So I'll have square root of a minus square root of b times square root of a plus square root of b is equal to square root of c minus square root of d times square root of c plus square root of d. From our equation, we know that square root of a plus square root of b is equal to square root of c plus square root of d. And we can cancel these two from our equation. We can eliminate these two terms. So this one with this one can go and we'll have square root of a minus square root of b is equal to square root of c minus square root of d. And if I bring this uh, initial equation here, and then I can I add these two equations together. So this negative square root of b and positive square root of b can be cancelled, and negative square root of d and positive square root of d again can be cancelled. So I'll have two square root of a is equal to two square root of c. And now we need to solve this equation. So we have uh, 2 square root of a is equal to 2 square root of c. I can divide both sides of the equation by 2. So I'll have square root of a is equal to square root of c. Then I uh, squared both sides of the equations, it will be square root of a to the power of 2 is equal to square root of c to the power of 2. I know, and we know that square root of a to the power of 2 is 
a and square root of c to the power of 2 is c. So a is equal to c, a is x plus 7, and c is 3x plus 6. Therefore, x plus 7 is equal to 3x plus 6. I take 6 to the other side, and x is... Uh, I, uh, 6 to the first side, uh, to the um, left-hand side, and x to the right-hand side. Oh, so I'll have 7 minus 6 is equal to 3x minus x, or 2x is equal to 1, and x is equal to half, or 1 over 2. As simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with your friends. Thank you so much for your support. Wishing you an absolutely fantastic time wherever you are on this planet. Cheers.